will learn how we can import the artwork in the adobe indesign so basically i am just dealing with this ebook that i have created and now i ha i have to import an artwork over here so what i have done i have created an artwork in adobe illustrator right and created a jpg image of it from here and i have saved it in the corresponding folder okay in order to import the artwork here go to file select place and select the jpg image that you have created and simply scale it by holding the control alt shift key and and place it where you want to place okay now the good thing is that you have placed the image where you wanted to put but the bad thing is that if you want to make any changes to it you will not be able to do so as this is the jpeg image and it is not editable so in this scenario what we do we do not import the jpg image in fact we import the ai file that we have created basically we have created this ai file and we will import the ai file in the adobe indesign so it remains editable if we need to make any changes in the future so i have just imported the ai file over here right and let's suppose you want to make any changes to it just place it where you want to place right let's suppose you want to change this title from here so so this is completely editable and the process will be just select the artwork go to window links and here you can see that the ai file that you have linked is over here right click on it and click edit original when you click the edit original it will open the adobe illustrator or any other software that you have created to create the artwork and let's suppose you want to remove it you just want to keep culture and identity you want to increase the font size a bit and when you are satisfied let's suppose you on you also want to change the color of this one let's keep it pink dark pink now this is the updated artwork just save this artwork and when you open the adobe indesign you will see that your artwork is automatically updated over here in case if it is not getting updated just right click on your link and from here you can select the update link so that was a short tutorial in that can be very much handy in your designing projects thanks for watching